Okay, I'm going to ask a very... Uh, well, let's see where it goes. What is our end game here? I mean, that, I, as soon as I say it, I know that's way too generalized or whatever, but what what is an end game we're looking for here? Yeah, yeah I don't think we have an end game, frankly. Okay. Uh, I think the purpose of the, the missile strike yesterday was simply to deter Bashar al-Assad from using chemical weapons again. I think it was mm-hmm. a, a single, fairly simple, discreet task. Um. The Barack Obama administration had as a goal to get to a negotiation between the Bashar al-Assad government and the opposition, a negotiation to create a new government. Um, But those peace talks never, ever got off the ground. Mm -hmm. They went absolutely nowhere. Um, In fact, that's why I quit in 2014, because we were just getting nowhere at all and, and it wasn't getting any better. And, uh, the Obama administration wouldn't do anything to to make a negotiation more likely. I don't think the Trump administration, by contrast, has yet set a goal about an end game in Syria. Do they want a negotiation mm-hmm. between Assad and the opposition? Do they want Assad to go? You know, uh, about eight or nine days ago, the Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, and the White House spokesman, Sean Spicer, and yep. the U.N. Ambassador, Nikki Haley, all said Bashar al-Assad uh, is going to stay. Mm-hmm. It's a reality, and we have to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the day before yesterday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said, well, we're actually forming, uh, we're taking steps to f- uh, form a coalition that will end the rule of Bashar al-Assad. And I I looked at that and I thought, well, wait a minute. That's totally different from what they had said just a week earlier. I I take it that what they're doing is they're trying to figure out, remember they're new, they've only been there for not even three full months yet. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, they're still trying to get their their heads around a problem as nasty and a problem as difficult as Syria. Um, I would just say uh, there is no immediate solution. There is no one-step, there is no two-step solution that will fix the serious problem. 